to declaw or not to declaw, that's the question under consideration by New York legislators as they weigh the possibility of banning cat claw amputations. Yes, you heard that right. It could very well become a crime to declaw your cat here in New York if Manhattan Assemblywoman Linda Rosenthal and State Senator Joseph Griffo get their way. The ban would be the first in a nation, but the proponents say it would put the U.S. in line with global standards pointing to many European countries and Britain. Decline cats is not a fancy manicure. Decline cats is the very, it's at least 10 very painful amputations of bone. Dr. Susan Wittred on Long Island is among those throwing her support behind the ban. She's a part of a nationwide group of activists called the Pet Paw Project. She calls the procedure inhumane, telling me claw amputations can cause health concerns, and behavioral problems. Now, the American Veterinary Medical Association has yet to support the ban, but has changed its stance over the past year, urging for cat declawing to become a last resort. Other veterinarians say the decision should rest with the pet owner, saying certain owners with weak immune systems would benefit from a cat being declawed in the event that a cat scratches them and injures them, opening up their wound and, you know, subjecting them to other infections. They also say cat with claws could be more likely to be given up to shelters in the event that they go and ruin furniture. And as you can imagine, supporters of the ban have answers for all of those concerns. It's a simple answer that it's inhumane. You're hurting your pet. According to the Humane Society, declawing a cat is like cutting off every single finger from your hand below the knuckle. Right now you've got almost 600,000 cats as pets in the five boroughs. You've got any, anywhere from you know, 15 to 20,000 or more that go to shelters every year because you've literally got tens of thousands of feral cats running amok in New York City. You did the story about how some people have resorted to poisoning the cats because they get into cars and they go to sleep in the engine. And I thought that was not a terrible idea. The thing is, if you have an indoor cat, it should be your decision whether or not to declaw your cat. You just need to make sure that you go to a right person because if the vet screws up, your cat can not only have immediate pain, but long-term problems. But declawing your cat, I mean, it's not a natural instinct for cats not to have claws. If they are outside cats, you are setting them up for failure because cat, their claws are their first line of defense. I, will never go to I think that it should be the cat's decision.